photopolymer. New and innovative intaglio techniques have been developed using a special light sensitive polymer film produced originally for the printed circuit industry. These techniques are especially suitable for photographic images made either in the darkroom or produced digitally. However, images can be drawn by hand onto transparent film or tracing paper using a wide variety of drawing materials. Prints can be made using this method without etching the plates at all as it is possible to print from the exposed polymer surface. However, plates can be etched as the film is not only light sensitive but is also an effective acid resist. A similar technique uses special photosensitive polymer printing plates developed for the commercial printing industry. These are particularly safe as the plates develop in water and, as images can be exposed using sunlight, they are often known as solar plates. In the darkroom, the light-sensitive polymer film is cut to size, allowing for an extra margin of approximately one centimeter around the plate. The sheet film is a sandwich. The polymer is a solidified liquid held between two protective layers of plastic film. The inside layer is removed first. The film is put in a folder to keep it away from light. On the press, a sheet of Perspex provides a smooth, flawless surface, ideal for laminating the film onto the plate. The film is placed on the Perspex with the stripped off side uppermost and the plate is placed on top. The pressure exerted by the press ensures that the film sticks onto the plate. The plate is then slipped back into the folder to protect it from light. Back in the darkroom, the excess film is trimmed off with a sharp blade. Although sunlight exposures can be made, variations in season and time of day make it impossible to achieve consistent results. It is preferable to make the exposure using an ultraviolet exposure unit. To ensure close contact between the artwork and the plate, a vacuum frame is also advisable. The image is placed on the glass top and the plate is put in position on top. With the vacuum switched on, the exposure is made for the set time. After exposure, the remaining protective layer is stripped off. The plate is developed in a mild alkaline solution. During exposure, areas of polymer exposed to ultraviolet light harden whereas areas protected by the image remain soft. These are the areas that will wash out during development. In effect, the developer etches the photopolymer film, leaving a plate surface that can be inked and printed from. The developed plate is rinsed with cold water and dried. Before printing, the polymer is toughened by further exposure to ultraviolet light by putting the plate out in the sun until the polymer darkens in colour. When etching an image, areas washed away by the developer will bite, whereas the acid-resistant polymer protects the rest of the plate. During a test bite, areas attacked by the etching solution will become noticeably darker. Intaglio prints made with the photopolymer technique are inked up and printed by hand in the traditional manner. The advantage of a bitten photopolymer plate is that it can be reworked, giving the artist ample opportunity to develop the plate through the use of other etching techniques.